Sovereign Productions. Hello there, this is Laton again. We're going to go through and uh, work on making a town uh, using the MineQuest plugin for the bucket, uh, bucket um, Minecraft server. Uh, so I've already been working on getting a flat area because I want my town to be flat and haven't decided just yet how I'm going to have it look. But the first thing we do is we go to one corner of our town property and we do a create town. So that's telling this is my first corner. Now we come all the way over to the other corner. You know, think of it like a like a rectangle or square. If you're measuring the the you know dimensions of your monitor, you go from one corner to the other. And then we do a finish town and let's just call it Latonsville. I know it's a lame name, um, so maybe um, outpost. Again, not really unique, but my town has now been created. And if I come in here mm -hmm. and I do a town, it says that I am in outpost. Now another thing. I do believe I'm not positive, but let's go out and come back in. And I think no, this one doesn't do that. Uh, I've been in one server that it actually popped up with with where you were, and I thought that was unique. Alrighty, so that was the creating the town. Now. Let us look at making a store. I don't really know where I'm going to put my store. So I think that what I need to do first is worry about setting the mayor. So we come in and we do set mayor. Oops, it's not typing set mayor and then it's me so I'm an outpost and I am the mayor and I do believe that means that I get to build <laughs> now I need to check one more thing um, looking at the properties uh, it says uh, create property. This starts, <coughs> excuse me, the creation of a property. It is based on your location. One corner of the property. Uh, and then you go and you do the finish property and you give it a height and it gives you the, if you use zero, it gives you the full height of the map. Okay. So, let's come back into here. I'm going to go from this corner and I'm going to do create property. It says I'm not in a town. Really? Whoops. Really? This was well within okay so I'll just do it from here create property and then I think that will be more than wide enough let me make sure that I'm going to be typing this right finish property and then let's say that we want people to have 50 up so there's a property uh, 
I've actually lost where I was on that. Um, one of the cool things, I believe, with the towns... Ah, there's a skeleton. Let me see if I can get him over here. Come on. Odd. I thought that they were not allowed in the town. Oh, yeah, you'll notice that, uh, my arrows are dropping snow. Um, I bound ice sphere and, uh, Needless to say, I get to replenish my snowballs. Haha. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I hear you. There's a zombie over there. I guess that what I need to do is set up a little bit of a um oh now there are spiders in here I think we've been through this before I really really do not like spiders okay I think spiders are going to burn. That one's a persistent little bugger. Okay, so as soon as the fire goes out, um, I'm using World Edit to make my life a little easier. Um, So as you can see, I've erected walls, so my town is more or less complete. Now all I have to do is go in and make some beautifications and go from there. So that was just for the creation of the property in the town. So now that I've got that set up, I'm going to stop here and come back with a part two after I get some uh, property actually built up. So thank you for watching, and I will have more on towns in a minute.